We are going on a cruise. But not just any old cruise. It's our back to school cruise. and you're wondering what kind of things to pack, I recommend, other than obvious things like clothes and bathing suits and stuff, to bring lots of small bills. To bring lots of small bills <laughs> because uh, even though tips are included, it's nice to, to tip everybody and not everybody gets a, a portion of that, that prepaid gratuity. Plus, if you're at the ports and stuff and you want to give tips to tour guides and things like that, it's just, it's pretty nice. So what you should do is uh, every time you go to the grocery store, get that $10 or $20 or whatever cash back at the register and you won't even notice it throughout the year. And by the end, and it's time to go on your cruise, you're gonna have a pile of cash to just throw at everybody who's working hard to make your cruise seem magical. And if you do forget to break the bills before you get on the boat, they have machines on the boat that you can put your cash in and get it broken into smaller ones. It's very convenient. It's usually in the casino, beware. <laughs> um, there is a complimentary room service that you can get. It's during breakfast time. If you order, what is it, like the continental or Yeah, something? it's continental stuff like, you know, fruits and breads Whoa. and jams and honeys and, you know, stuff like that, coffee, juice. Yeah. Things, things of that nature, bagel, oatmeal. So if you know that you prefer to just drink some coffee for a while before you join the rest of society. Yeah. You can order it the night before and have it delivered to your room. And it's complimentary. It's pretty cool. Ah, these people know how to decorate their door. That's cool. Now it's time for a quick tour of our stateroom. The beds were comfortable, as were the pillows. Our room attendant turned the couch into a bed as well, and Ezrin said it was very comfortable. The fridge was smaller than on other ships that we've been on, and we couldn't even fit plates of leftovers in there. Even though the bathroom was small and the shower had just a flimsy curtain, it actually was easy to get used to, and it worked out just fine. The balcony was really great, and it offered a quiet break from other people as well as a great spot for morning coffee. You could sit out there and watch the ocean, and it was a great place to wake up. All right, what's in there? Refrigerator. Tiny little refrigerator. And we have a safe up there. Yep. And a tiny little TV that we're never going to watch. See that? Those closets. Closet one. Lots of closet jackets. space. Closet two, there's nothing in here and a mirror, just in case we want a mirror. So we're gonna dress up. In closet three, there are hangers, just in case we want to hang your clothes for the trip. And some shoe areas. I'm a pretty uh, lazy traveler, so what I do is bring like a bag or something and after I'm done wearing an outfit, I just kind of throw it in the bag in the closet and then when it's time to pack, I just shove it all into my bag and good to go. Okay, a couple more thoughts. Um, the drink packages. We don't do those on Carnival because Carnival only has two tiers and one of them is the bubbles, so it's all you can drink sodas and the other is the alcohol, which is all you can eat, or all you can drink alcohol, but also all you can drink mocktails and smoothies and coffees, etc. 
um, which I don't feel is quite worth it if you're not going to drink the alcohol. But on Royal Caribbean, they have a mid-tier, which allows you to get the all you dr can drink specialty coffees and mocktails, etc. So we really love doing that on the Royal Caribbean. But on Carnival, we don't bother. There's free water and free juice and free coffee all over the ship. So if all you can drink soda or alcohol isn't your thing, then you can skip the drink packages and like just buy your one non-alcoholic mojito for your kid that has to have one every time she gets on a cruise ship. Whenever I go on a cruise ship, it's always a tradition to get a non-alcoholic mojito. Here it is. With a, with a fancy candy straw. It's edible and it's made of candy. Candy Take straw. <laughs> never been on Norwegian, but maybe one of these days. We've been on Royal Caribbean and Carnival. We're going on Royal Caribbean again this fall. We hope you subscribe and check that out. It's going to be a lot of fun. My secret weapon for handling the, the seasickness is these ginger chews. I get a whole bag of these and I chew them when I need to and it's amazing. The first time we went cruising, my doctor gave me one of the patches and by the next morning I lost my eyesight. I couldn't see. I felt awful. So I've switched to these and they're really helpful. And there goes the Carnival Freedom. Everybody's set in sail except for us. All right, so one of the, the benefits of homeschooling slash world schooling is that we can do it year round, which means that Ezrin here worked all summer long on school. And now it's time for back to school cruise. We're on a cruise ship right now. It's, 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 it's. Where are we going? Uh, Bahamas. We're going to the Bahamas for back to school. Back to school. Yeah, this is a little exciting for all of us because, uh, you know, we worked really hard for this summer. And even though I just started my classes personally, it's still great to take some time off and to enjoy some family time. We checked in, we did our muster station, and now it's time to explore the ship. We're going to show you a little bit of the Carnival Glory. We got a super sweet last minute deal. Uh, uh, my favorite thing about Carnival is that like each time the people clean your room, they leave a little towel animal, a little animal made out of towels. That is a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to the super juicy Guy Smash Burgers. Now it's time for a tour around the ship. Let's check it out. There's a really nice gym area if you're about that life. Plenty of cardio equipment and weights to throw around. And there's even a sauna and a steam room. The theater is a nice atmosphere for most of the shows put on by the crew. Be sure to get in a little early as the seats can fill up fast. The ship even has an arcade that you can try your luck in. Perhaps you will be the new owner of this giant teddy bear. Ezrin absolutely loved Camp Ocean. She was finally old enough to check herself in and out, and so she spent most of her time there. So this is the Camp Ocean, where you can drop off your kids. Lots of plane areas. There's four groups. One, there's the turtles for very young children. There's the penguins, the stingrays, and the sharks. Oh good, we, we found the ship's library. Oh no, we didn't pack any schoolwork for you to do. Are you gonna be okay? I hope you're enjoying your embarkation day tour. Yeah, we've been uh, just kind of exploring the ship, seeing everything that it has to offer. And uh, so far it's impressive. There's some good food and lots of music and pools and hot tubs. It's definitely an older ship and definitely smaller than we're used to, but it's pretty cute. Cozy. Heard, yeah, they keep I've calling it cozy. <laughs> cozy. Cozy and quaint. We're in the main dining hall and we're getting ready to have some evening dinner. And um, we're just going to show you what it looks like for tonight's meal. There's uh, some pretty good options, uh, no matter what you're craving. And we're excited to try it out. All right. Another secret weapon for those of us who suffer from seasickness is uh, 
from ginger beer. It's non-alcoholic and it's stronger than ginger ale in terms of ginger goodness. <laughs> and I also recommend. Yeah, it's got the little extra crispy bite to it. It's pretty good. Helps you get through. For our first meal, Lacey tried the braised short ribs. I got the Cornish game hen. And Ezrin had the vegetable wellington. It was all fantastic. All right, so we just finished our dinner, and it was absolutely incredible. And now we're moving on to dessert, and my grapes are getting stolen. <laughs> Two grapes. The grape thief. <laughs> Ezrin always has to have the cheese plate for her dessert. And Lacey got the signature melty chocolate cake. Thanks. Thanks for joining us for Embarkation Day. Good night, everybody.